everyone! Welcome to this week's episode of Fab Friday. So for this week, we are going to be using some pasties and put on the glitz and salt to the earth, some mini clothespins, some cork confetti, and some morning dewdrop sequins from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. This is the photo we're going to be using, and then the other products I've chosen are from the newest mini kit from Feed Your Craft. I love, love, love Feed Your Craft kits. They're so cute and fun to use. And I'm going to show you how to um, get the most out of your kits when there are cut apart cards, or you know, when they're Project Life cards. But I'm going to start with a little bit of mixed media on my layout. So this is a stencil from Chamel. It's from the True Stories collection, and I'm just putting through some of the Salt of the Earth pasties. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna provide a tone-on-tone -tone matte um, design. And at the end of the day, this layout, this stencil work that I'm gonna do is more texture than actually like that it looks like lots of little hearts. It, it, at the end, because I'm doing it super messy and super quick and all that, it just really looks like some really nice texture. So what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna go for here is for a diagonal design. And this is after the paste piece dries and I'm showing you that there's gaps. What am I gonna do with those gaps? Well, I'm gonna fill them in with the putting on the glitz pasties, which is clear and will just provide shimmer. So this is really cool. You're, I'm probably gonna use this in another layout next week as well, but I'm gonna put it over some color, which is gonna be really fun. So I have a little bit of a plan for that for next week. Uh, but for this week, I just want to use it plain to show you that it is clear and glittery and it's just, it's a really fun, neat kind of um, product. So now everything is dry and you can see that you can tell there's hearts there, but they're very kind of um, messy and mottled and, and that's okay, that's what I wanted. So my next idea here is that I wanna put something behind this, uh... <laughs> oh my goodness, my words just totally disappeared. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trimming off a quarter inch of my paper and I'm going to place it onto a cardstock by Felicity Jane. So this layout is an eight and a half by 11 in case you're wondering, kind of noticing it's a little, looks a little different size. It's an eight and a half by 11. And all I'm doing here is I'm just gonna put, I already trimmed down the Felicity Jane cardstock and I'm just gonna add a little bit. So just as an FYI, the pasties warp very, very little, just a teeny tiny little bit. I wanted it more for the color than for anything else. And now I am taking that clothespin and I'm going to clip my photo and that three by four card from the kit together. Um, another interesting fact that I discovered about the pasties, they, things don't like to stick to them very much. So I had to use, for most of the layers and things on this layout, I used both a dry adhesive and a wet adhesive. And then when the layout was completely done, I did go back through and add more scotch wet adhesive to places that were kind of popping up because there were some places popping up. So this is gonna be my journaling. It's on this little um, tag and I'm gonna fiddle with it just a little bit. I, I think about putting it at the top somewhere, but I don't like it. I like my original idea better, which is to go ahead and put it on the bottom of the layout and then to take some Scotch quick dry adhesive and um, wind the string from the tag up through the three by four card and also the um, photo a little bit. And so what I just did was I drew with my glue just some squiggly kind of fun little loop loopy lines and um, I did it kind of fast so I could do that if I had any extra leftover glue I could just wipe it right off my photo and it comes off without a problem you can't even tell in the original photo that there that I had gotten a little bit of glue there so I'm just going to go through and kind of tack down the edges and make sure everything's kind of stuck where I want it to be stuck and then we'll go on to the next part of this layout so the next thing we're gonna work on is our cards. So I am gonna cut these Project Life cards all up and use them in a variety of different ways. So the white one that's off to the left, I already fussy cut a circle from it, and now I'm cutting strips from this dark green one. Unfortunately, nothing in this layout has to do with chickens. So I'm just going to take some strips and I'm going to cut off the chicken tracks. I do love the chicken tracks, and I really wish that I had um, you know, a really good layout to do with them, but I really didn't. And I loved that solid green color and I wanted to make sh get that into the layout on some other places. So I'm just cutting strips and trimming them up and then to reinforce that diagonal design that I wanted um, from the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and add the strips to the top and the bottom and around my photo as well. 
And this, this layout really is about, um, you know, the gorgeous project, products at Spiegel Mom Scraps. But as an aside, this is a great layout to showcase how to cut apart these <laughs> project life cards and use them on a eight and a half by 11 layout. I'm sure you could also use them on a 12 by 12 layout as well. Uh, but I was so excited and the cards just sparked some really great stories for me in this kit. They always do with the feature craft kits. Um, even just seeing pictures of them, I'm always inspired to uh, document certain stories. And so there were two right off the bat when I got my kit that I knew I wanted to do, and this was one of them. As a last added little touch to these three parts of my layout, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, staple it, and then we're gonna take another card, and I'm just, I'm gonna cut just the wording off of this. So there's um, wording at the top of this card that says the view from here, and I'm going to go ahead and add just one strip of the word to three different areas of my layout. And now we're gonna play a little bit with stamping. So this is the three by four card that I cut that circle, that map circle from, and I'm going to use it to stamp uh, some of the cameras from the stamp set that were included in the kit. So this stamp set has some gorgeous cameras and I happen to love camera stamps. Stamped in black on white cardstock. I don't know why I love that graphic look, but I really, really, really do. So I knew that I really wanted to take all three of the camera stamps from the stamp set and use it to create three different embellishments. And I'm just, I'm using the three by four card that came in the kit that I cut that circle from to go ahead and fussy cut out those stamped images. So now those three car, those three cameras are um, at the places that I want. And now I'm going to punch some circles from this last little bit of this four by six card. And I'm going to use that on three different places in the layout as well. So what I'm doing here is I am creating my diagonal design. I'm using the cork stars. I'm using three of the flares from the kit, the punch circles. Um, and I'm creating um, three different clusters and you can see where I have those three clusters here. Um, I wanted the cork because I thought that it brought in a little bit of a pop of contrast of brown among all the black and whites and greens. And I love, I just love these little cork stars. They're super duper cute from the shop. And I really liked, I really want this design to have that diagonal look to it and so I thought by doing the stars kind of trickling down and then I'm going to go ahead and use the morning dew drop sequence in the same respect to trickle down from the top left to the bottom right um, following that line. So I'm just placing my elements where I like them, gluing them all down and then my last touch is going to be these morning dew drop sequins and I'm not going to make you watch me put them all down but you get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm making them kind of look like they're cascading down across the page um, just in a lot of spots and you know what this doesn't take a long time it takes a long time when you have to watch it but when you're actually doing it, it doesn't seem like it is so here I've just added some extra adhesive because again parts of my layout were kind of popping up and not sticking to the pasties um, and so I wanted to make sure everything was stuck down and doing well and this will pretty much complete the layout I was gonna put my date on here but I realized that my date stamp uh, didn't go past 2011 and this photo was taken in 2010 so I'm just gonna write the date at the bottom I hope you've enjoyed this this Fab Friday layout. Um, I am fighting with a little bit of a cold, but I think I did pretty good. Not, not too many sniffles today, um, but my voice is still kind of jaggy and congested. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week for another episode of Fab Friday. Bye.